uh, for, for adding such a quality element to, to the city. I, and, uh, I enjoy coming to work every day. Yeah, so do I. Excellent. And probably for different reasons. We, <laughs> Certainly. We enjoy our respective work. Uh, but uh, we're, we're delighted to uh, be here this morning, and thank you again for hosting this for us, too. Certainly. Questions? Good to go? State Mayor, uh, after the arena is built, after the development, how, how realistic is it to think that these rankings will continue to go up? Because, I mean, you're close to the top of a lot of these lists. Or is this more maintaining what we've built? No, I think we, we can continue to do better and better. I mean, if you just take that 105th ranking in arts and leisure, that's going to change dramatically when the Haymarket gets built and we're able to uh, bring in leisure activities uh, on a much uh, higher quality level. So uh, we can, uh, we just keep pounding away uh, at, uh, at the things we don't do so well and improving those and improving the things we do well. Uh, and we can uh, we can move to the very top of all the lists. That's that's the goal. Mayor John wants to make sure you talk into the microphone. Ah, sorry. Can I get a little bit of that statement one more time? <laughs> that wasn't your question. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're we're dead serious about moving the city ahead. And even though we do well in certain areas. Uh, there are other areas where clearly we can improve. Uh, the 105th ranking with regard to uh, leisure activities and, and entertainment will be improved dramatically by the uh, addition of the Haymarket Arena and the, and the Ice Center and the other associated activities in the new West Haymarket uh, area. So that's just one example of where uh, we have a great deal of room to improve. But if you look in the city budget at the various uh, indicators, you know we've identified uh, dozens of areas where we intend and well, in fact, do better uh, in working at such difficult things as even personal income in the city and the level of quality with regard to living in a whole number of different ways. So, yeah, we're going to keep driving to get better. Well, I would agree with that. Uh, I, uh, you know, the, the the turn of economic times, I'm sure, has some effect. Uh, <clears throat> one of the things that that happens in good times is that we don't seem to uh, improve and grow as fast as some other communities in the best of times. Uh, on the other hand. Uh, in the worst of times, we're much more stable than most communities. But I would like to retain the stability on the downside of the economy and figure out how we can grow faster and benefit from uh, the good times in the economy. And I think one of the ways we do, we do that is by following the path that we followed on Tuesday, and that's to invest in our future in anticipation of those good times and in anticipation of, of uh, the revival of the economy and the interest of additional companies in building and expanding and being ready for that. Mayor, we haven't added outside of Verizon, for example, a, a, a huge influx of jobs in one fell swoop, yet we're seeing the rankings go up. Is it, it, is it mostly because of people like Matthew and, and we just have a lot of smaller businesses that seem to be growing and operating here. How, how, does, that, how does that happen? And, and, and as far as you know, attracting those bigger businesses, how much more work needs to be done to maybe get some of those big jumps in, you know, if Kawasaki expands or if, or if someone else brand new comes in and brings the industry? Yeah. You know, there are a number of things that go on, of course, uh, related to the concepts of, of economic growth. 
uh, I tend to think of it in, in three different areas. Uh, the smallest area, of course, is, is the tourist trade and the, and the regional uh, retail trade, that sort of thing. Facilities like the Haymarket uh, are important uh, to improving that portion of the economy. And that's an important portion of the economy because it brings in money from outside the city and enriches the city itself, the citizens of the city. Uh, secondly, uh, we do try to attract businesses from other places that are not currently in Lincoln, uh, especially, and the focus is on businesses that operate nationally so that if they come and locate in Lincoln, they will be selling their products around the country and bringing that money back to Lincoln. Uh, but those two things are not the first two points of interest. The most critical economic development activity is addressing growth in the businesses that you have already in your community and starting up new businesses and growing those businesses. Uh, that's where the bulk of economic growth comes from. I think Lincoln does pretty well at that over time. Uh, and that's where we need to focus on taking care of our own businesses and helping them grow, being cognizant of what their problems are, being flexible in terms of helping them address those problems, uh, and encouraging them in every way possible. And uh, that's where Lincoln's growth has come from in the past, primarily, and probably will come from in the future. Uh, developing loyalties, uh, among the, in those companies to the community, developing loyalties in the individuals who run those companies in the community, and nurturing the sense of family in a larger sense and growing those businesses. And in turn, those businesses, uh, as they prosper, tend to take care of the city and build the amenities of the city and become uh, good community members. So uh, we'll continue to be active in all three of those areas. Uh, but I think the answer to your question is that the real dynamic uh, and the principal dynamic has to do with, with growing your businesses that are here in town. Can I comment on that? Pardon me? Can I comment on that too? Oh, absolutely. Um, in the two and a half years, when, when we started this in January of uh, 2008, we moved in. Um, uh, you know, it was within five months that the recession really hit. And uh, I would say things, uh, you know, we weren't immune from that uh, economic downturn. Um, but overall, in that two and a half year period that we've been here, uh, our businesses as a whole here have experienced uh, over 100% revenue growth. Um, we've added 20 employees. Um, and, and that's because we're small, we're nimble, and then we have a community here where we've been able to um, share ideas, uh, share customers, uh, even share employees in here within this group and uh, it's allowed us to to be flexible and respond to the demands to to make our businesses successful so. yeah. <clears throat> okay you all set thank you for coming out today appreciate it um, thank you thank you again certainly thank you.